guys, it's me and Arel here, and welcome back to a new video. Um, I currently do have a sketchbook update that I need to upload for you guys, but it's like 20-something minutes, and I know it's going to take ages to get up, so I decided to do another sketchbook update on the sketchbooks in which I drew in, but I don't draw in as much anymore, so this is going to take a lot less time than the other ones. So as you can see, it's three sketchbooks right here. You've seen most of this one. This one's new, actually. You haven't seen none of that, and then this this is a new one as well, which you have not seen. So I'm just going to start off with the smaller one <laughs> because literally is nothing in here. So this is a sketchbook, which is by the Paul Rubens brand. It is a watercolor sketchbook. I got this to try out some watercolor that I got, but it never works. So the first page is just some um, Copic testing because I like using Copic. Did I just say Copic? I like using Copic markers on watercolor paper, even though a lot of people say, don't do it. I still do it. <laughs> and then I just didn't like how the paper was, so I just used it as some practices. Um, I used it so I can do practices on it. There we go. So I did an eye here, and I think that's it. I started on a person, but I never finished it. So that is literally all I did in here. I feel so bad, but it's actually not a bad sketchbook. It's just that I don't like the format of it. So here's the next one. This is actually a sketch sketchbook. It's a mixed media sketchbook and I'm like, wow, I've never seen them make a mixed media sketchbook before. So I decided to buy it and try it out. And let's just say I don't like it. <laughs> but the sticker on the front is from Nautica, who is my bae. I love her so, so much. Is So, um, Whenever I do, whenever I get mixed media sketchbooks, I always do watercolor tests. And I don't know if you can see this. This is the Crayola watercolors, and they are amazing. I did one drawing with them, and they do not look like this. So don't say they look like this, because they really don't. But if my phone would focus. You can see that this paper gives it a glossy type of effect. I don't know if it's going to show on the camera. I wish it did. You can kind of see it with this, this purple one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a glossy effect with watercolors, and I'm like, nah, hunty, I'm not gonna do that um, with this, so I decided, hey, maybe it was the swatches, maybe the swatches were all that great, so I decided to do an actual drawing of Victor from Beauty on Ice, and let's just say I used five different materials, I used watercolor, I used Copics, I used Crayola markers, I used Sharpies, I used everything on this picture and it just did not work and I actually really like this drawing to this day so I'm thinking I'm probably going to digitalize it and just finish it that way because I don't want to make this drawing not be finished because I actually really like it a lot <laughs> so yeet um this picture I think I posted on Instagram I believe so it's um the very first drawing I did of my character Lola but this was just an idea at the time I didn't finalize her at all <laughs> um um, I think I was trying to <laughs> test out Sharpie. Um, and this is me fleshing out more of my character Lola. So that is what this is. And here's a key say because all my sketchbooks have to have a drawing or a doodle page of a key say in it. Um, this was Nadu in different clothes. Um, I didn't finish this one. I didn't finish that one apparently. Um, and this is actually the sketch of Dominica's friend Cross's character Cross because her birthday was around a corner and Dominica asked me to do some birthday fan art for her. So this was the sketch I did of her character and this was the line art that I did. I actually colored this digitally so you can't really see the digital version because my computer wiped all my files so I can't put it on the screen but if I can get the one that um, I sent to Dominica hopefully I can put it at the end of the video because this actually turned out really cute and I wanted to color it traditionally but um since this paper doesn't work with anything I won't be able to do that so you can only look at the line art so yes um and this was a drawing I really liked but I just regret that I put that pink block at the back of it because I'm just like why um I tried to design a charm of John Cook and Jimin which I will probably come back to um this is a girl that I actually really did like I just wonder why I put her at the edge of the page um this is when I was designing my melodious and Elizabeth um sticker which is possible 
popular. Like, someone just bought two of them on Etsy, and I'm like, okay, maybe Seven Deadly Sins is working for my shop <laughs> because I sold my bookmarks of them and two of my stickers of them. So I'm like, okay. Um, and this is when I decided to draw my Bond and Elaine sticker, which I did finish, but my computer wiped my files, so I have to redo it and then order it because I really liked how that sticker turned out, and I think it'll be a really cute sticker for people who like Bond and Elaine because, <laughs> ah, my gosh. So here's Hiruma right here, and I don't even know who this is. I think these are just random guys that I decided to draw, and they actually turned out really cute. I think I was trying to draw a more looser hairstyle because, as you can see, there's not really much lines, and I like that effect. But I actually really like this boy. This boy I really like for some reason. He is cute, so I don't know. I might work something out with them. And I think that's it. No, apparently I did a girl right here. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this sketchbook. Um, I really don't like the paper, so that's the reason why I got this much in. So I'm sorry if you guys want this to be finished. Maybe I'll change my mind and just make it a pen sketchbook because pen is the only thing that works in here. But yep, I had fun with it while it lasted. <laughs> and this is the last sketchbook. Um, I actually flipped through this sketchbook like 10 times. Not It's not 10, more like 3 because I actually showed it a lot in older sketchbook updates. But um, I just use it as a way to put my stickers on it. So if I flip to the back, all my newer stickers are on here. I didn't put all my banana fish ones on here because I didn't want to use all the products in case it sells out. So I was just like, I'm just going to do Sing since he was the first one I got. And then I put a Kisei. And I kind of want to put my others on here. But since my other stickers are getting... Fake, like popular oddly on Etsy I'm scared to use it on my own sketchbook so um this is just a sketch of a drawing that I posted. This was a, it wasn't a video. It should have been a video for that freaking sketch box, but I didn't make it the video. But, um, this was a drawing I eventually made into a drawing, and then I did another drawing of this character and put it on one of the materials that I got from a sketch box box. All right. So I'm just going to flip through this because I flipped through this countless times, but for all of you new people, because I've gained a lot more subscribers oddly um, I'm just gonna flip through it again so you guys can see what was in here I'm, th I'm looking back in here and I'm like Nero what the heck were you thinking in this because my anatomy boy oh my lord oh my lord all right so I'm gonna pause this so you guys can see the full page so hold on all right I think you can see it better here so yeah I just question my life sometimes but yes this would have been a really cute charm to do on J-Hope's birthday. I need to start thinking about these sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. But yeah, this sketchbook I actually bought just for the means of sketching. I didn't buy it to be serious with. I just bought it just to spoo out ideas. So um, that's pretty much what this was used for. So if you guys were expecting like, you know, grand drawings, it's not going to be in here. I actually really like this. This could have been a really cute charm as well. But um, yeah, I just bought it just to not be serious with it because um, I always, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I always take my sketchbook seriously, but I always try to do pretty things so my sketchbook will look visually appealing, but um, that always doesn't work. So um, this is my 100 heads challenge. I actually have nine more to complete and make 100. So um, I will eventually make this a zine because I think it's cute to make it a zine. So when I eventually finish it, I will make it a zine. So yes, because I think that'll be really cute for my first zine. And I actually really do like a lot of these. It's not like I don't like them. It's just that um, this took a lot longer than it should have because since we're artists, we draw faces all the time. But I guess doing it as a challenge makes it a lot harder because we have to sit down and draw a lot more faces than what we draw. But um, a lot of these pages I completed in a day because I actually sat down and took the time to um, complete them. But a lot of them I just kind of was like, I'll draw six today and then come back whenever and just finish the other six. So that is what I did. Um, so yeah. 
to each his own to each his own but i don't know i just think it was a nice challenge it didn't really last that long now that i think about it not a lot of people did it which i think is actually quite weird because i don't know i feel like this would have been a really cute challenge for a lot of artists to do but yeah it really did not last long at all so yeet but like I said, I actually did all mine in pen. I didn't use pencil for any of them because I wanted to dare to be different. I didn't want to rely on erasing. I just wanted to have all of my um, sketch lines and all that good stuff. So I was thinking... Ooh, I was thinking when I do the zine, I was going to clean up the sketch lines. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep it raw and uncut. So I'm not going to erase any of it. I'm just going to keep it the way you see it. And if you guys are just like, now that annoys me, then I'm sorry. Because I want you guys to see all of my work in its original form. So I will just keep all of it. Um, pencil lines and all that good stuff. But if I see any like defects as in the lines break out like that I will fix it but other than that I'm not gonna erase my um pen lines to make them cleaner because I think it'll look cuter that way so um yeah so my hundred heads is going to be my first zine and then I'll try to make something else out of that so yes and a lot of these people a lot of these sketches are actual people and a lot of them are my characters like these are all of my characters right here so yeah, this is Reno, Axe is Siphony, and that's Rayo, if you couldn't tell. But yeah, but a lot of these are actual people people on Instagram, and a lot of artists I follow. Um, I actually remember some of them, but I don't remember all of them, because I just follow a lot of random cosplayers on Instagram, so I just took their photos and just made them my head. So I'm sorry for the lack of my memory. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah but overall i really liked how a lot of these turned out i think this was billy eilish if i remember correctly i think this is billy i don't remember it might not be her it might just be a random girl but i swear i think that is billy eilish <laughs> it looks exactly like her but yeah This was an idea I still want to do, man. I, I suck. I literally freaking suck. Oh my gosh. I suck. That never happened. Didn't never happen. I'm still mad because that was supposed to be scissor and it's nose up because ah and this is the last page I might actually make another page on another side of blocks because there's no way I'm going to draw on that but this is the last page I need to complete for my hundred heads challenge more washi tape boo. Well, this is a new character in which I didn't share yet. Her name's Nalani, and she's a warlock. And she's for a story my friend Reverse Asuka is making. So that's where she's from. So yeet. And I skipped the page, and this is her actual design, which I'm living for. Like, ah, uh, my word. I wish I shared her a lot um, earlier, but yeah. Nalani. This is what I was doing. I did that picture for Dominica. So, Dominica, this is the sketch here of your bay. I actually like the sketch more than I like the drawing, but the, he, he exists. He exists. And, yeah, that is it for this sketchbook. I wish I did more because this actually was very fun to look through, surprisingly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, that is it for these sketchbooks in which I have not shown you. Um, some in a while and some not at all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this small video i will get my main sketchbook update up soon so just um wait a little bit on that one so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching in the comments tell me which one did you like better did you like the eye this one or the other one so yeet so i hope all of you have a good day